Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 22nd of November 2021. And as you might see, I'm here at the airport and yeah, we are en route to uh, Scotland. And yes, we will be having more distillery videos at last. For a long period, we didn't have any, but now we will produce more distillery videos. But today I'm gonna try to do some news. Yeah, it's not in the usual format, but I got my little yeah, clip on microphone, so it should be enough good quality. So what are the news? Um, first of all, we have the Smokehead Sherry Cask Blast Limited Edition. It's like its predecessor, a sherry edition of the typical island single malt whiskey. It's 48% ABV and yeah, should be available worldwide very soon. Then we have the Brudar whiskey liqueur and that comes with a new uh, label and also a new re uh, recipe. Yes, it used to have 24% single malt, 22% uh, single malt, now it has 24% single malt and it should be available at the beginning of December, so pretty soon. Then we have a new whiskey from a new distillery and it's an Isla whiskey. The Ardner Ho distillery uh, brought out their first single malt. After three years they could officially call their first whiskey um, a whiskey. But they just tried it yet. They still have to fill it and bring it into sales. So um, it will take some time to reach the market. And another good news for Ardner Ho is that now they are allowed to build another warehouse. So also the uh, supply in the future will be a bit more secure and a bit more plentiful. Then we have news from uh, yeah, the big markets. We had the Distel Group uh, a couple of times in the news where they got new distilleries and developed the market. And now the Distel Group is being developed or bought by Heineken. Heineken buying a share of 65% of the um, uh, South African Distel Group. Uh, the Distel has Bonnehaven, Tobomori, Deanston, but they are not part of the, the this bid, but they actually are invested into the company. Then we have the new bottling from Glen Ord, a singleton of Glen Ord, 39 years. It's the second um, release of the Epicurean Odyssey series and uh, it's a rather strange um, maturation. The first 10, 12 years were in bourbon casks and then it was filled for 27 years in a selection of European oak casks that had uh, predecessor liquids like port wine, red wine, PX sherry, Oloroso sherry. It's 46.2% ABV and it's limited to 1,695 bottles worldwide. Then we move over to Ireland. We got a new distillery permit and it <laughs> has a rather cool name. It's the Titanic Pump House Distillery. And it is run by the Titanic Distillers and they got their permit for building a distillery and a visitor center on the actual site in Belfast where the H uh, RMS Titanic was built. Yeah, that famous ship that sunk. Maybe where they get uh, Leonardo DiCaprio to open up the distillery. Um, then we have news from Teeling. Teeling is bringing out a 30 year old whiskey on the market. So the Irish whiskey producer got back into their warehouse and they brought out a new vintage reserve collection. They um, increase that with a 30 year edition with a uh, it's a single malt it's limited to 4,000 bottles 46% and not chill filtered it was matured in bourbon casks and finished in sauterne wine casks and uh, yeah they are bottling it pretty much right now and it should come out January 2022 to the international markets then we go over to the United States and JT Malek is bringing out their first uh, batch of whiskey. JT Malek Distillery is located in Louisiana and they are um, maturing their, um, their rice whiskey for four years in 30 gallon oak barrels. 
Yeah, usually uh, a normal bourbon barrel has 52 gallons, 200 liters, and 30 gallon uh, cask is a bit smaller, so it's a bit more intense for maturing the whiskey. They want to bring out their whiskey uh, punctual to uh, for the Christmas season, and they are bringing out one batch of a thousand bottles to the market. And in spring 2022, um, they want to follow up with additional bottles. Yeah. So that was it for this week. I'm off to Scotland now, hopefully in the next few hours. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you then.